Hi, I'm Chris Haig and this is the Fiddle Channel. Today I'm going to show you how to solo on Caravan. It's a very interesting tune to solo on. Um, it's a good tune for the violin and uh, one of the reasons is it uses what in, uh, in klezmer is called the Fragish mode which is so that goes all through the first half and if you look at the chords then it'll scale because we've got a D7 followed by an E flat 7 But um, there's really no reason to follow those chords up and down and um, what I would do is to stick all through the A section with, with that scale and that gives you a great deal of freedom and, um, and you can really bring out the difference in this tune because it's, it's a, an unusual tune in its feel, it's kind of an exotic tune and, and the fiddle can make the most of it. So you can also play uh, quite rubato um, but what you mustn't play in the A section is swing. So we're not going to do anything like um, any of that. Uh, because one of the other interesting things about this tune is that it moves from a, a Latin straight feel to a swing jazz feel in the middle. So save your swing for the, for the, um, the bridge. Uh, so let's just go through the A section and um, I'll I'll play lots of long notes and give it that uh, that dreamy, uh, distant feel. Notice that um, I said we play the, the Fragish all the way through. When you get to the fourth line, in fact, you've got to G minor. And it's, it's really in the key of G minor, but we don't get to it until that fourth line. So um, I would do some, some kind of line like a, that kind of thing for the G minor, which I think is a really nice line. And on the, um, on the first three lines, I'm doing a lot of klezmer on ornaments, particularly the downward um, slide. Maybe a few trills. And some nice drones of the E flat against the A is a good, good thing. You can also do some double stops for the G minor. that one more time then we'll look at the bridge. Now when we hit the bridge we go to a G7 
C7, F7, B flat 7, which you will probably notice is the cycle of fifths, four bars of each, uh, apart from the B flat 7. So, um, you've got to think of these as four separate chords. Don't try and find anything that links them really. Um, so you could do, you could base it around arpeggios if you like. <laughs> D7, uh, make sure you accent that, and um, you can if you want put the E flat in, uh, but the important thing is that, that is, it's got to sound like a dominant chord, which is going to drive you back to the A section. want to uh, link the chords together to some extent, if you play a phrase on the G, which has got uh, the third, which would, in this case would, would be the B, then you can repeat the same phrase but bring the third down. And then you can do the same again for the F. And that will work. G minor is some uh, Grappelli type harmonics and you can also do uh, parallel fifths in um, descending chromatics. Something around that because the end of the melody uh, does actually do something pretty similar to that. So let me go through the whole thing and uh, watch out for uh, me using the Frege scale the G minor with some gypsy type licks. Um, I'm going to do a little stunt on the um, <laughs> on the bridge, which I used to do a long time ago, and um, harmonics at the end. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, if you want a copy of the chords, then send me an email and subscribe. You'll find my email address at the bottom of the description. Uh, if you want a copy of the backing, then this is available to some of my patrons on Patreon, so do consider joining me on that. I'll see you in the next video.